Here is a preview of Espro 7 and its features. So logging on now gives us the ability to have individual usernames and passwords. And of course with those will come the ability to have security groups which allow different users different aspects. When Espro first starts it goes to the estimate list and we can turn on searching and I can very easily find by code, by name, by client, by due date, by status and there are many other columns that can be shown. When I go into my estimate all of the information now is kept on the same screen. So here are my estimate details on the first tab. The code, who the client is, the description, who the estimator is, if there's a salesperson separately, a due date, follow-up date, a submitted date. What is the status of the estimate? And we can actually track estimates by those and we'll soon have reports for that. Our hourly cost and default labour install time. We then go to our sections tab where we now have built our sections for the estimate as in Espro 5. The difference is now when you look at the items grid on the right hand side I can actually have a look at my assemblies that are in bold and I can drop them down and I can see the items that make it up. I can also now change quantities by just clicking straight into the quantity box and making changes and I can also override the items that are inside. So on this estimate here if I wanted to come down to my test item here I could go to my GPO on pendant, I could have a look at my cable where I've allowed 1.5 metres, I could go and change that now to 2 metres just by clicking in there and I can click out of it. We also have comments, so the comments now are in green and italics which help easily identify or make notes against different items. Estimate costs are similar, I just put all my estimate costs, the dollars and the type of estimate cost they are. The price matrix, this is in the old Espro where we had project price matrix. This now shows all of the material items that are in this estimate, the quantity, and then I can just run through and change the project price and it will automatically update every single place that each of these parts have been used. Very easy, very efficient. I can then have a look at my project pricing tab and these are the items that have actually had project pricing and if I want to change that I can just enable it. Uh, we also have features with uh, the enterprise version we have uh, estimate breakdowns where I can actually do change my breakdowns we can have linked files we also now have the ability to build unit rates in the enterprise version so you can now present a schedule of rates to your client so let's have a quick look at the new summary screen so we click on summary so the first screen will show me all of my takeoff totals so here's all my cost to do the job here are my first markups that I've made if I've added gross markup separately, I, here they are on this side. So this is my sell price. I can then come down and have a look at my profits that I'm making on my material, labour, subby, etc. And there's my margin for the estimate. Summaries. So just by dropping down here, I can actually have different summaries for either different clients or what if calculations. I can now view all the estimate sections. And just by looking at this, I can actually see what all the sections are, the material cost, the labour hours, the subby dollars, the subby markup, equipment dollars, each uh, section. And down the bottom, I can see those. I can go to my allocated hours, you know, where I can actually allocate all of the hours I've got. I can actually nominate the hours or I can allocate them by a percentage. I can do it by time and a half, double time, or I can do it by employee. I could put tradesman, apprentice, TA, supervisor, etc. One of the new features is our indirect labour, where I can now do an indirect labour of 10% of the job say, which is now calculated 102 hours and I can set the, the sell price for that. Here's my estimate costs where I can now put markups on if I want to, or I can come to my markup tab where I can have as many markups and I can apply those markups to material, labour, equipment, subbies, whatever. And with my unit of rates, I've, here are my unit rates that they've now been, uh, scheduler rates have now been costed. I can now go what I want to add to those, so I can go and put an addition percentage or a removal percentage and that will recalculate the sell price or the removal price for these items. So there is a sneak preview of the new version and, and hopefully that will help get a better idea of uh, the features of Espro 7.